All right. We still have one more contract to deploy, and that'll be the router contract. So we're going to do the same thing we just did. Um, go ahead. Let's call this um, periphery. And let's open this in our terminal. Okay, so I'm gonna init then I'm gonna Okay, then we'll go ahead to copy the contracts. I'll quickly run through the packages. And this time around, as you can see, we have two dependencies, the bakery swap core and then bakery swap light. And we're going to do the same thing and install them from, from git like we did. Okay, so okay, I'm high. Let's go back to Git. Bakery swap lib. Okay, so I need to install the lab lib first. Then go ahead to install the core. Alright, that's installed. And now that we have both of that installed, let's go to the truffle config. Yeah, let's change the solidity version. 0.6.6. I'm just gonna go ahead to copy some of the truffle config from the other one, the provider. Gonna copy this. Yeah, 
on a set. Okay, so we need to install Truffle Wallet Provider. The the periphery. Okay, that's installed. So I'm gonna go ahead, create a migration a migrations file. And I already have the code. So here's the migration code and So we we'll need the factory address that we deployed earlier. And um, we'll need wrap BNB. Um, if this was the being deployed to the main net, you can get the wrap BNB ad address on the main net. But uh, if you are deploying this to the test nets, then just go ahead to deploy this wrap BNB. We are going to implement a wrap BNB class, um, Solidity contract now, and that we are going to deploy, and then we use that address to deploy the router. So as you can see, this is the router. We are, we are deploying the router. If, as you can see here, the router takes in two arguments in the constructor. The factory address and then the wrap BNB address. So, and that's why we needed these two arguments. So, the factory address we already know. The wrap BNB we're just going to deploy that, and then we have that. Okay. So let's go ahead to add a wrap BNB. So for the contract, we just do contract WBNB is a BEP20 token and we just specify the name. And the symbol and what's that? WBNB, okay, that's great. So, okay, so let's go ahead to compile, switch to our periphery parts. Make sure there's no error. So remember, if you are deploying to mainnet, WMB, you replace this with the real address. I just put something there to act as a placeholder while I compile. Okay, compiled, but duplicate contract name from WBMB. We have to look for that. Um, okay, there's already a WBMB in the test folder. I'll look for that. Oh. 
Okay, good. So let's use that. Um, I just go ahead to remove the one I just added. Okay, so we're good. All right, so let's go ahead to deploy this. Okay, so contract couldn't be stored. Check your gas limit. Okay, so let's adjust the truffle config. And then maybe the gas price. Let's try that. This, yeah. Okay, so let's try again. Okay. So I'd increase the gas and still not compiling, which means the file is really large. Um, so I'm gonna go into the contract and then contract um, comment out these three methods. They are not usually used, so. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the interface. Okay, cool stuff out there. Yeah. All right, that's good. So let's try and migrate again. gonna try again okay great the router is now deployed phew so you can see the transaction hash here so what next now that we've deployed the factory and then the router um, then we have the smart contract in place, then we can now work out how to um, deploy a front end for users to interact with the contract. And um, 
Unfortunately, Bakery Swap doesn't did not make their front end open source. At least they didn't post the GitHub repository. But well, since Bakery Swap is a fork of the Uniswap project, all you have to do is fork the Pancake Swap project and use that and use the front end to connect to the smart contracts. Alright, thanks for listening. Remember to like, share and follow this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.